So I'm wearing the same shirt as last week, but apparently that's not something that we're concerned with on this channel. Hashtag blue polo. Hashtag blue v-neck shirt. Hashtag is something that you do to let people know when you're like muttering something under your breath. It's a way to like have subtitles on your own speech, basically. So the other day I was wearing these like workout pants things, like spandexy, you know, and I was like in the process of psyching myself up to go for a walk or run or something. And Joey says to me, you're like a fat girl in workout clothes. And I'm just like, okay, he was just like kidding and stuff, but I says to him, I says, I don't wear this for you. I don't do this. For you and you know kind of makes me think why do I run why do I wear spandexy pants while I go running around the park truth is I do it for me so I can have more energy and so that I can feel better about myself and stuff and cuz I look great doing it clearly I say own your body so it won't own you I like setting a goal for myself and try and reach that goal and it's just for me I like it and if Joey thinks I'm weird for wanting to run or if he thinks I'm like a poser because I'm wearing workout clothes like I don't do it for him I don't really care plus endorphins are cool and that's the great thing about hobbies I have found as I am NOT um, hmm, much into hobbies really is that it's just something you can do because you enjoy it and something you can get better at that's really just for you. You're not like competing, you're not like, you don't have like a deadline or anything. It's not because you have to because of school or something, but because you like to do it. And that's why I wish I played guitar, because I would love the satisfaction of being able to play something. And that is why I went ice skating kind of a bunch of times the past couple winters, is because I just liked it. You may have heard that I'm in the choir at UMass. Um, we practice once a week for like two hours, two and a half hours or something. And it's cool. There's the typical things about being in school that I don't like about it, but the choir director person is really fantastic and I have a lot of fun and we do like good professional music and stuff. and. I just like it and it enriches my life and it inspires me for when I direct choirs of my own, I can kind of channel that energy and professionalism and the things that I learned from my choir director and I can just try to be kind of more like him because he's amazing. So Sunday we had a concert and that was fantastic, you know, the culmination of all of our hard work for the past four months or whatever. Somehow it came up and I said to mom that there was a concert and stuff and she's like, oh my goodness, I need to go, I need to get out of work. And I'm like, it's not really a big deal. Like, I'm super excited to have anyone go to see me. Let me get that straight. Mom and Lynette and Beth and her kids came and I'm super, super grateful to them for supporting me and I just love it. <laughs> Joey didn't go? Joey went to Seacon Speedway instead? We realized like a week before, I was like, oh, I can't go to Seacon Speedway because I have my concert and I guess you can't go to see Kong Speedway either we kind of laughed about that and I was like no really like you don't need to come <laughs> and see me perform in the choir like I'm happy with my own work even if I can't share it with the people around me like I am happy to be a part of it and I'm happy to sing in the choir without even having it recognized even if I didn't go to the concert like I didn't want to miss that but even if I didn't like I had enough fun and everything and enrichment in my life from all of the rehearsals that it almost wouldn't even matter if we did the concert or not. The other thing that I'm working on right now is I'm the lighting designer for Man of La Mancha at Greater New Bedford Regional Vocational Greater New Bedford Regional Vocational Technical High School. I keep like thinking like, oh I wonder if dad's gonna go and I wonder if Joey's gonna go and I wonder if this person's gonna go and who's gonna see it and stuff like that. And I'm kinda like excited because I want people to see what I've been working on. And after spending all of this time working on it all and you know, constantly having notes from the director of things that need to be adjusted and stuff like that and things that he needs, there hasn't been a whole lot of recognition of what I've done. And I'm honestly there was a couple times I'm like, I'm not really sure if the director is happy or not. He hasn't said either way. Like, he hasn't said he's unhappy, so I figured no news is good news, right? 
but the other day, actually, he has started to say, like, by the way, thanks, it's looking great. And I'm like, I forgot about this part. I forgot about this part of the process of it being done and then actually getting feedback on it. And even if my friends and family don't come to the show, and even if the director didn't say, you know, that he's happy with the product and everything, I still think I did a good job, and I'm so proud of the work that I've been able to do with the equipment that I had on hand and everything, the things that I was given and what I was able to turn around and produce out of it, I'm still happy with that, and it doesn't matter to me if anyone says anything, like, because I take pride in my work, and I know that I did the best that I could do. Lawrence, you better freaking tell all of us what you guys are up to. I know that you were talking about moving or something, but just come out with it, okay? See you on Friday. Bye.